What's going on today, guys? This is Tony from Team Divine Pro here, and uh, because of a little mess up, I, we only have two other people on this, but we do have two very, I guess, noticeable people. So, from our last podcast, we have Adam from T Out, Agent from Team No Guard. I already screwed it up. <laughs> well, you know, okay, I screwed up a lot of things, and you okay. screwed up the ending last time, but yeah. Okay. I'm Agent from Team No Guard. Remember me, that SPs are sexy. And, yeah. And we have all the way from over the ocean, Kami-sama, Cardo Taku. Hey yep. guys, what's up? So yeah, welcome to our Void. He's um, from Void Canvas, so I guess if you get the pun right there, but yeah. So today, I don't know what you want to talk about since I guess Cardo Taku is the new guest. We'll let him start off. What have you been playing recently, card game-wise? Anything? Uh, mainly I've been playing ZX, actually. Um... Bit of Vanguard since the uh, EBs came out, but not too much because I was in Japan and um, mainly I was just buying there and not. I was watching people play, but not, not playing by myself because I didn't bring my decks. So, All right. Well, that brings yeah. up an interesting question. Then, like, is there a difference between how people play in HK and uh, Japan? Very. It's very different. It's very different. Like, I'm pretty sure all across the world people play differently because you know everybody have a, has a different mindset and. Uh, they they have different techs and stuff, so you know, it's it's quite different. Even if you look at uh, last year's WGP, um, none of the people who talked were actually from Japan, so you know, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. All right. Uh, is there anything else? Because uh, we can't really talk about ZX because I don't understand that. Ga- I have not tried yeah, that game. Is it? I, any- I don't play it either. So. Gonna get into level Neo? I'm not sure about that game. Uh, ever, so. It's starting to pick up in Hong Kong, but I might I might pick up uh, No Game No Life. Dude, those sleeves though. I'm getting those sleeves. <laughs> yeah. By the way, you better pick them up for me. Just so yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I guess if we're done with Cardo Taku, uh, uh, Agent, what have you been up to besides? Pulling them SPs and making that money. Uh, well, I recently just got my BT14 case in yesterday, so Friday, and I did post an opening to a Facebook group, but since then it has been taken down because the admin said it couldn't be up because it broke street day, which it did, so it's fair. But my case was fine. I didn't really want that much from the set. I just wanted uh, ignition and Dauntless reverse. Aside from that. I, I didn't need anything else. I know, I know everybody wants Minerva. The card has already been hyped up so much in North America. Right now, it's sitting at forty dollars. The SP is at uh, eighty-five to ninety. But these are all sneak prices, so on release, all the stuff should drop down in value. Yeah, but you got your you got like an actual booster box. Like you didn't get a sneak peek. You got like the actual booster box. So I was like, I, wow. I got a case, not a booster box. Exactly. I got a case. I was like, wow, you just have it all, don't you? I didn't buy it for myself. I got two boxes. Of I know. Like, I realized. <laughs> but like, you pulled probably the SPs or something, because knowing you... No, I didn't pull any SPs, which sucks. The SPs pulled were uh, Tempest Bolt, which is bad, uh, Miranda, Hyakivog Reverse, and uh, Zenith. Those are some right. pretty so, bad SPs. I know. <laughs> That's why like, my friends pulled the SPs. I'm like, yeah, you pulled the SPs. I'm like, wait a second. These are all crap. <laughs> like, nothing good. You can move the Hyakivog for maybe 10. The, uh, what? The Miranda, well, my friend's keeping the Miranda. They're happy he pulled it. Uh, Zenith, my friend, pulled, and he's building the deck, so he's happy. And Walt. What was the other one Tempest I mentioned? Bolt. Tempest Bolt. Tempest Bolt. Uh, yeah. Break ride? I can't remember. Tempest I Bolt's uh, it. Counter Bus 3, White Bolt Players Fields. Oh, it's that, it's that crappy card. Yeah. Oh, if it was like yeah. an SP Ignition, I'd want that, but an SP Tempest Bolt. All right. Well... Uh, is that it, or did you play Buddy Fight and Wait uh, again? With- Weiss, I, I'm just playing Vocal Aid right now. I don't want to spend money on Love Life or Sao. I'm waiting for Kill a Kill to come out in September. I'm going to probably buy three or four boxes of that. Try and pull a sign, Mako. And for Buddy Fight, uh, I still haven't bought my box of BTO3, just because I don't really think I need it, and I don't really care about the game that much to put money towards it. So... I'm mainly just getting singles right now. Is Buddy Fight even a card game in Japan? Like, is it a Japanese card game as well, or is it just, like, e- English? 
it's it's Japanese, but not there's not really much people that play it outside of Singapore and Asia, I believe. Yeah. Like in Hong Kong, it's a pretty dead game. So. The one thing I oh. like though is that for for Buddy Fight, uh, the releases are the exact same time in Japan and English, so we don't have like for the North American market, we usually uh, give prices based off the Japanese market, which is bad because you guys get stuff earlier, and then that'll affect the price, and we price it off mm-hmm. that. But for mm-hmm. Buddy Fight, since it's both released at the same time, we can't go based off you guys. Mm. Which is good, though, because it's, then yeah, that's what cards are cheaper. How popular is over there, though, that game? We still have expensive uh, cards, though. Like It's really... It, I don't know. Buddy Fight, I think it's pretty popular, though. It's like... Really? Because I think they put more of an emphasis on the English. Like, the YouTube channel has nothing but English, if I'm right. Like, I think so. I don't know. The, the show is just fun to watch because, like, they, they, like, yell at people for no apparent reason. Uh, all right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm sorry. I'm, I don't watch all the lollies in the world, okay? <laughs> I don't have that waifu. Okay. Although we probably all know what waifu yours is. Yeah. It's all right. <laughs> all right. Um, I guess I'll go on to what I've been doing. Um. I just got my nine boxes of EB-11, finally, getting them out of the post, and pulled pretty crappy, actually, not going to lie. I got one SP, Blaster Dark, Revenger Abyss, and pretty only... One PBA, that was all. I, I was, like, still pissed. I was, like, I got four of that... I got, like, eight of, like, one double R. It was completely crap, and I was, like, oh, I don't want this. I have to sell it now and hope I get my other stuff. But, yeah, uh, I don't know. Revengers is a thing. I don't know. Is Revengers a thing still? Yeah, they 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 won uh, some tournaments recently. So, I was actually just reading up on a uh, a blog that I it happened in Japan or somewhere, but uh, yeah, yeah, they, the, the guy taught me with four PBA and four raging form in the deck. Which... Yeah, there's a, there's also another build where uh, they ran three abyss, uh, three phantom, no, two no, two phantom, two and then it was like three drag ruler or something. So yeah, and yeah, Forger yeah. as well, I think. Yeah, with Rukia and Mana. Yeah. Okay. I guess, since this is kind of dying off as a conversation, I'll go on to a question. So, I think both of you already know, and we all know, that Deleters is a thing now. Right? The what? We, we, all, we all know that Deleters is a clan, right? Like a sub-clan? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, after they've introduced this new ability, I'm just wondering, is there anywhere, like, Bushi Road can go from here? Like, can they continue having new abilities and all that? Because I feel that they've kind of scrape the bottom of the barrel with um, everything as it is right now. Well, the thing is, for Vanguard, there's not really much variation in the game, like, to be honest. Like, if you if you look at the skills, they're all pretty much the same. Like, the restands and the extra crits and the power. It's just how you get them. And I, I, I don't know. Like, the game... It's kind of... What? Is this going to be like the end of Card Otaku Desu? Like, are we hearing his uh, resignation from card No, I don't want to play the game because I like to collect the cards, but... One second. Like, uh, okay, cool, yeah. Like, Keep on going. I don't know. The, the, Vanguard, like, from the beginning, Vanguard was very... It's a pretty... In my opinion, it's a pretty vanilla game. Like, <laughs> just not too much uh, variation you can go with the cards. And the deck. I feel, I feel like that's where... Uh, what are they called? Not rogue, not right. Well, brush decks come in. Just I forget. Why do I forget the word for this? Uh, rush decks, aggressive aggro. I don't know. Uh, gimmick decks. There we go. Uh, I guess that's where gimmick decks come in because in North America there were certain tournaments, well, regionals that we had where people went to round seven or six in regionals with grade one rush with a blaster blade trial deck kind of dumb uh with uh platinum ice rush there's a person in chicago last year he made it to round six with this deck being half great nature and half ott what uh yeah i, I feel like <laughs> that's that's where the fun of the deck actually fun of the game actually comes in i know that I feel that like north american people have more fun though that might be a uh, case i don't know if you look at some of the youtube channels some of them are really good for competitive play but the others I, i've been watching them and then at like Three minutes, I'm like, there's a misplay there, there's a misplay there. I should have done this instead of this, and I could have won. And yeah, mind you, that happens. Okay, but you, 
You take all the fun out of playing Vanguard. Hey, I have fun playing competitively. <laughs> That's a, is that a thing? Yes, it is. Can, okay, can you have fun playing competitively? I don't yeah. Know. Yeah. You can, see, but... See, Karutaku agrees. So, so why can't I have fun playing competitively? Uh, <laughs> I see nothing wrong with it. Because you stack the SPs, that's why. The thing is, in Hong Kong, you can't mix clans, so that's uh, that's probably one of the things why there you don't really see much variation. Uh, the only thing that you can mix is Royal Paladin and Shadow Paladin because of Magic Sword Bastard, and you can only mix like nine cards or something like that. Do you not mix the witches together? Uh, like, you know, like, not competitively, not in tournaments. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, yeah. But could you not mix, like, the Witch Perfect Guard with the Witch uh, Quintet? Uh, from what I see right now, you, you can't, so... That's really... That's that's one of the really bad things in Hong Kong. Was there any other reason why you guys have that rule? Uh, I'm not sure, actually. That, in, I think they might change it soon, because... Uh, we we're... Because, like, the Bushi Road here follows the, the rules... It uh, follows the rules from Japan, and, um... Like the the orders that the Japan give give us, and then I don't know why it's different. So, wait, wait. Can somebody tell me what the rule is? Because I thought it was just like a card you ability or like you can't mix, you can't mix clans. That's a thing. Like it's just a straight up rule. Yeah, you, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Uh, yeah, it's different in North clans. America. Yeah, that's why I I, I was going to play a rush deck like the Great One Rush when uh when uh for last year's WGP, but then I couldn't do it because you can't mix clans. So. <laughs> So that's about oh, I get it. Yeah. No, I feel like that's it, it's a rule that should be taken away because there are some people who do want to play uh, fun decks, and if they want to take it to a regionals, they can't, and it almost forces them to, I, I guess, play a properly built deck with proper yeah. ratios. But it, it says that we don't want it's a, Bushi wrote it saying that rush decks they don't want them to win. Mhm. Mm because it's kind of. It's pretty budget, that's why. They can't make money it's out budget. of it. Well, I mean, last year, Chicago, for regionals, there was the Aquaforce deck that won the tournament. I was looking at the decks, it was bad. You had four Benedicts, two regular Mile Shrimps, and two Glories for the grade threes, which most of the time... Oh, we're coming back to this again? Oh, my yeah, God. Yes, we're coming back yeah. to this. And then the guy's grade one lineup only had two perfect guards. And since it's a best-of-one format, you can just crit the guy and sack the guy, and it doesn't, matter, it doesn't really matter what you're playing, and you'll win. Yeah, well, tournament, like, the way that the tournament's formatted does matter a lot, though, because, like, if you do a best of three Swiss round, then it's a lot more different, because then you have to really, like, have a good deck build to withstand a three-round, like, matchup, and not just get really lucky with tri trigger sacking. Yeah, I feel like they should definitely, in North America, definitely change it to best of three. I've actually talked to we short officials about this multiple times on Facebook, and they said they've been thinking about it, but it's never been implemented because of the time. They don't want the regionals to take too long. Yeah. Well, no, but then, yeah, if you look at Yu-Gi-Oh, though, like, if they have that, then they can go until, like, 10 o'clock well, at night. No, the issue. with Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, if they have more than 500 people at an event, there's going to be nine rounds with a top, uh, I think it's 64 cut. And after, that, and after that top 64 cut, all those people get invites to nationals. But mind you, yeah. Yugi's been around for uh, 10 or 11 years now. Yeah. Uh, just one second. I've got to add somebody to call because they've been trying to add, add themselves and I can't. Let me see if they'll add each other. But yeah, um, just keep on talking. I don't know. I don't know if there's anything else to talk about. I don't know if I just killed that. Uh, no, no, no. I, I still think that it definitely should be changed to best of three. Because I when too. I was... Yeah, when I was playing in a... Last year, April, we had a stand-up cup. I had made it all the way to top eight, but in top eight, I got grade stuck at grade two for four turns. And, I mean, in a best of three format, I would have had a better chance of advancing further because I would have been able to come back in games two and three. But since you get stuck in game one, you can't do anything about it, and you get sacked and you lose. So Exactly. The thing is... You you get really really pissed off when you lose in a tournament because it's best of one and then you get double credit and you're like oh well, well I don't like Vanguard anyway. Yeah. False is real. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, it's horrible. But... It happened to me like twice. So. <laughs> There's a in a lifetime or just like at a tournament. It was it, it was a tournament, but it was like uh, it wasn't a big tournament. It was like one of those um, uh, promo tournaments. Oh. Okay. But like you still get a, a, a prizes for it, so it's like. 
Well, uh, no, I guess that, that's the one thing about regionals in uh, in here. All the regionals to enter are free, so I feel like even if you enter it and lose, you shouldn't really complain. But I, I'm still gonna complain. Yeah, we had to pay you for. You want to win? Huh? Well, how much do you pay? It's like two bucks, but oh, <laughs> yeah, it's like that's like nothing. Yeah. Well, if you, it adds up at some point. Well, but... yeah, if, you, if you go every week, then it's like. Mm. Uh, yeah, but I mean. Like for local, since my local is best of three, if I go every week and I pay three dollars, I know that three. If I go for a month, three out of the four weeks, I'll at least go three one or better. Mm. Sometimes I'll just get double credit and not want to play anymore. Double crediting is the worst. I just hate it. I did it to somebody else, and they somehow ended up winning. I was like, oh gosh, I really messed up then because I should have been way far in advantage. You double credit, you lost. Yeah, I double created oh, a lot. Gosh. <laughs> I, think I was a... using I was using Spectral Duke, and it was like, uh, should I attack the rear? He had like one card in hand. I was like, I I'll just attack the rear guard because I thought he had like a ten k. So I was like, okay, I'll just attack the rear guard and get rid of it. He ends up winning the next turn. I'm like, how? But then I won in time. I won in time. It's okay, guys. Wow. It's okay. <laughs> I also don't like the way they uh they have time in Vanguard because the second time is called whoever has more damage loses. Well, no, don't you play with five, like, you have five turns after? No, 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 that's, no. Only if the, that's only if the damage is equal. Really? For, oh, okay. For us, it's that both, both players gets disqualified if you, um, no matter what damage you're at. Really? Wait, right? yeah. Like, yeah. I or just, like, lose that, like, point? I don't know, you lose. You you both get, oh, uh, yeah, you bo- you lose that point. Like, um, you both, oh, okay. you both, you both uh, kind of lost. So you don't get kicked out of the tournament, wow. like... No, 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 no. That's okay. a... I think that's a bit harsh. It is. It's that's why. Yeah, it's <sighs> the rules in Hong Kong are really bad. Like I don't, I don't like it. Hong Kong people change it. Cardo Taku's not happy. They can't. <laughs> they have to. They follow orders from uh, Singapore or Japan. Japanese people change it. <laughs> wow. Exactly. Uh, and I think we have another person on the call. Um, yeah, I'm here. <laughs> team, from Team uh, Divine Pro. This is. Tony as well. Tony, say hi to everyone. Hello, everyone. He hi. is French Canadian. He speaks Le Francais. Yes. Yeah. Quebec. Yeah. What? And yeah, Tony, this is Cardo Taku Desu. Yeah. And Agent from Team No Guard. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and I don't know if you want to put your two cents in anything we just said, but we're talking about Cardfed Banger so far because <laughs> we can't talk about waste because Cardo Taku hasn't played in a while, as I. Recall. Uh, I haven't played since uh Guilty Crown. Uh Sympho Gear, I think. Yes. Last time I played was twenty minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> that English format. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm kinda more fr- a French guy, so uh, English I'm s so, I'm not supposed to be that good. Uh with the uh, with talking. But he's on. He's on here just because of the accent. He looks. He sounds cool. No. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, like I said, uh, Vanguard. It's my thing. I'm always playing every day. So yeah. <laughs> yeah congrats on getting the Ezel scissors. I think. Yeah, yeah I, I was able to get one on my sneak peek yesterday. Yay. Was Ezel scissors ever a big thing though? I never remember. Well. It's a big, th- big thing. Well, I tried it with the uh, proxies, like with card. Uh, like I said, I was playing four scissors. The event five only got one, but my against out were scissors. So I played like this with all the support, the lion, Tor, uh, 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 the grade two one, and uh, what was the last one already. I forgot the last one. So with those three, the unflipping damage and using counter blast is so easy. Like you can almost do the limit break every turn. So you will are you like always uh, twenty six thousand to critical at each turn. See, well, I can see the like the good in Ezreal scissors. It's just the fact that I think that it comes back to the what I brought in last uh sec like last episode is that. They should have just combined set 14 with set 15, and then they would have made a bigger set, and then they would have sold more. Uh, yeah. And Because I feel that Alfred, the the Walfred, I don't remember his actual name. Uh, Monarch. Sanctuary Monarch. Liberator, yeah. Monarch Sanctuary, Alfred. Yeah, I feel that he overshadowed Ezreal Scissors, if you guys understand what I mean. Like, he came out so fast right after yeah. set 14 that 
Nobody really cared about Ezreal scissors. In no the way. anime, it's the, because uh, BD14 and BD15 at the same time. Scissors at Pier and the same time at Glendios. So it yeah, was so they should have just merged. Both they should have just come together. That was not that nice of them to put them together. So I was like, Glendios is going to be in BD14. Or are we going to have Link Joker on BD14? I don't know. So we've got, no, no, no. Got to wait until uh-huh. another set. I feel like if they had combined uh, set 14 and set 15, that the pool of cards would have been too big, and the amount of triple errors in the set and being pulled per box would have greatly decreased, and the values of all the cards would have skyrocketed. Because if there's 16 triple errors in the entire set, but you only get three, that means that you're going to have to buy multiple boxes of that set just to get what you need. Well, yeah, I guess... I I guess I can see why they would do it, just to put, like, some good cards in set 14 so that... They sell that set and they sell set 15 guaranteed, but I feel that the fact that they just made Glendios like a one of, what was it, like Glendios you can only pull like one in a case or something? I don't remember. But Wasn't it? Like, of what I'm thinking about Glendios, it's shit. <laughs> I don't like it, not really. It's, uh, the deck building, it's gonna be so much, ugh. I don't, don't know, I, I can't see the deck through, I, de- I can't see through the deck. It's like fifteen grade three. How many is gonna? How many do you, you gonna play to win this game? Really? Huh? Tell uh, me. Run <laughs> eight. Run five grade twos, and then the rest of grade threes, and you'll win. The, the deck works because of world line. Like, geez, world line dragon. Yeah. Yeah, but isn't it? Is it also because of the car that can search for the grade three? Dang the hell uh, up. Yeah, that guy. But just yeah. to say it quick, uh, you probably have cold of dragon, but uh, with all the pros going out like a uh, Georgette. The, oh, uh, the I feel like all the uh, all the unlockers, all the unlockers that we get in set fourteen, yeah. all the the promo box toppers, they're yeah. not going to change anything. If somebody yeah. plays Galendios, what are the chances that you're really going to be friendly with an unlocker? Yeah, and the, uh, the, the unlockers themselves, shit. the unlockers themselves aren't that great. Georgette is okay. The Murakumo unlocker is mainly used for Fiyakimo Reverse, so you can hit. It's a very like the yeah, Royal Paladin is good. It's very like it's a very situational card. I think that's what you're trying to say, right? Uh, yeah. You, you, I mean, the unlocking is fine, but the other effects are good. But the main idea is that it's supposed to help against Link Joker, but not everybody but plays Link Joker. The Sorry. Royal Paladin unlockers is kind kind of good. Like that's okay because it has a soul saver effect. Yeah, that, that's so, what I'm thinking. But uh, I I feel like I should ask this question then. Do you guys think we should have like you know how, like, in Yu-Gi-Oh! or in, like, any other card game, there's, like, a side deck? Even for Buddy Fight now, they have a side deck. Should we have a side deck? Oh. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes and no. <laughs> yes, because for some fighters, and no, because, like me, it's it's definitive. I'm going to play that, 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 that. I'm, I'm not going to change anything. Well, I feel that that would just add more skill to the game, though. Like, I don't know, maybe, Karotaki, you have a different point of view since you're from... The other meta, so let's hear what you have to say, maybe. I've been saying to add a side deck since, like, BT2. <laughs> <laughs> okay. BT2 had, like, Kagero, OTT, and, like, Royal, and that was pretty much it, so I don't see... No, 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 the, no, the, the thing is, the thing is, Silent Tom, okay? There was, oh, Silent that's... Tom was a huge thing back then, and, um... Yeah, now he evolved. There's a lot of things, different things you would do if if you play against OTT. Yeah, like I I don't know. Like mm. it it was mainly it was during the cross ride format uh, that it was, people really needed. Uh, like I really wanted a, a, a side deck because you wanted to side against cross rides and stuff. But na- like nowadays, nowadays you don't need to side against uh, cross rides because everybody has 12k attackers and stuff. But back in the day, nobody nobody really had it except for the main three clans. So yeah. I guess that's true. Like it when B five games and uh, came up, it was like, oh, Phantom Blaster Overlord, everyone, Phantom Blaster Overlord. Phantom Blaster Overlord kind of sucked. I'm, I I still have the deck. It's a really lot. bad. Like yeah, Phantom Blaster Overlord, first Thunder Blast, Gunner Blast three, ten thousand plus one critical. Like, I'm not sure. Like Carter Tiger, did you just do really lucky on that WGP, or did you like? Were you really skillful in using the Phantom Blaster Overlord deck? No, I was using the end. No, but I remember that you had a video with Phantom Blaster Overlord. Oh, that was that was for uh, preliminary. Oh, okay. Uh, no, you don't you don't you, uh, Phantom Blaster Overlord isn't good, but he's a cross ride back then, and that was a big thing. 
And the rest of the deck was pretty good because you gain a lot of advantage, so you don't really need to use Phantom Blaster's Overlord's effect to win. You just out-advantage your opponent. That's why I was good back then. Okay. Like, that's, that's if, I a... if I have to choose between uh, Overlord and uh, normal Phantom Blaster Dragon, I prefer Phantom Blaster Dragon. I don't know why, but I prefer him. Because, just like that, I prefer him. Because the cross ride is like Counter Blast 3 Persona Blast 1. For 10,000 plus 1 critical. A lot of cards have almost the same ability for less. Like a Blast Bulk Dragon. Counter Blast 1, drop 1, 5,000 plus 1 critical. If you got one more critical or more, five, uh, you got 2 critical or more, 5,000 powers added. So it's like 10,000 plus 1 critical for 2 cards. It's not that's that's like, much. That's a bunch of sets later, though. Like back then, uh, yeah, I, I feel like you, you can't compare it. I mean, I, I've been playing. English game since set one, but if you're comparing EBO nine with New Val's release after set thirteen, you, you to really can't compare it. You really can't compare it. Phantom Buster Overlord. <laughs> the, the the time between those two sets is so far, and the power creep got well, a lot I, higher that you can't. The compare only them. card that can still compete is probably Dragonic Overlord. The end because yep. it was such a powerful card and it still is a really powerful card, just because of the restand effect in the Persona. All you need is the Grade Three, and then you can go. And I'll stand again. Yeah. But what am I uh, more saying? It's like, they made uh, a lot of more same skills, like Phantom Blaster Overlord, but with less cost. Just... Yeah, well, that's what's making the those cards better. It's because they're making... They're realizing that these effects were good. They just want to improve on them. And also, I guess, it's hitting back on the idea of scratching the bottom of the barrel. They're kind of running out of ideas, and yeah. now they're just trying yeah. to figure out what exactly works, and then how to make every single clan top tier. Uh, they're not making every clan top tier. Okay, yeah. well, yeah. that's true. But, like, if you look at, like, Japanese, before, Musketeers weren't that great, but now, because of their new Legion, they can just run four Musketeers, and they can do perfectly fine. Well, with Musketeers, even before the uh, before the set, they were good. Like, with Cecilia, I mean... Yeah, but they were just really gimmicky There's, back yeah. then. In Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, if Konami wants to make a deck good, you can see the difference between making a deck good and making it uh, subpar. With Vanguard, Bouchard can do the same thing. They've had so many chances to release support, like good actual support for Granblue, and on every chance they've kind of blown it out of the water. They haven't given us yeah. so much. Our break ride was fine. Night snow. Is the break ride better than the Legion? That's what I've been hearing a lot of. We're getting a su I, I know we're getting a second Legion, but Legion right now, the only good thing about it is a Legion mate. That card is good. Yeah. Yeah. But they, if Bushroot wants to make a clan good, they will make it good. They will. And push Grand it Blue, a lot. the only good you thing I have... think is the break ride. Sorry, we. I think you just said the only good thing is the break ride. Is that what you said? The thing is, if you're not a main character, you're not going to get a lot of support. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, well, like, how many cards support are there? A lot? In Dashkelly, how much? Not much. Not much. There's, no, there's more though now, though, because Niwa just caused um, more Tachikaze stuff. Mm. There's not much Dashkelly. There's like three sets. Of them. But the new, the new BC-17, I know for a fact they have a Legion. Yeah, and it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be too broken. Are you sure Tiger Rose gonna be more broken? Uh, uh touch like Ten powerful with less cost than Sing Saver Dragon. Because Sing Saver, for me, it sucks a lot. Sing Saver, no, Sing Saver does not suck. Sing, for yeah, me, I was yes. gonna say. <laughs> for you. Maybe just your player style is different like, compared to Sing Saver, but Sing Saver is really good. <laughs> it's still good. I like the thing of oh, super ride. Okay, that's okay. It's stand it's attack again. Okay, nice. But it's you, you can't disregard a triple Vanguard attack. You cannot disregard that. Yeah. Wait, are we talking about Soul Saver? Or Sing Saver? You need the Soul. Wait, you need wait, the Soul, Soul Saver or Sing Saver? I think he's talking about Sing Saver. I, I just. I'm talking, talking about the about Legion. I'm talking about the Legion. Okay, yeah, so Sting Saver. Sting Saver. Sting Saver. Soul Saver is, is, is... Soul Saver is good, too. Don't Those two cards together in a deck make a very strong deck. No, I'm just saying, uh, Sting Saver can be good, but... Sting, Sting Saver need, is good. It, you it, need... It, it's not it can be, but it is good. You need... Have you not, have you not seen, like, the meta? It's Sting Saver and Mega Flare. 
Mega Flare. Yeah, Mega Flare is pretty good. Rise yeah, of the Rider. No, no, Cat Butler, Butler is very good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Cat Butler made the deck. Yeah. He's the one piloting those things. Cat Butler for the win. Cat Butler is like five dollars right now. It's stupid. Oh, it just keeps get it going now. <laughs> That's how they're selling EB uh, one because they realize it's like it's not selling. Let's just put Capola as a really good card. Well, it was only good. It, it wasn't good until drugs? it came out. I just heard like rattling. Somebody taking drugs? No. No. Okay. Whoops. Ooh. <laughs> nah, it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> they're taking those LSDs and all that stuff, you know? Okay. Uh, yeah. So, um, yeah. So I guess Capola. I guess that Asian, that does kind of, sort of answer your question though, because they can make ruling changes to cards and mechanics to make support better, as you can see with Mega Flare and Cat Butler. Well, I mean, Mega Flare was good on its own because you could attack with a side attack with Vanguard and gain a crit because you have four rested units. Cat yeah. Butler just made it better. I mean, before Cat Butler was okay, but the fact that they made it. Legion with the grade 2, and the grade 2 is part of the Vanguard now, so it stands, and you stand your grade 3, and you just get another attack. Like, like, oh, powerful. Okay, let's take it 5,000 times. Let's go. That simple. Just because of one little card that we oh, we didn't uh, use it a little while ago, you have to uh, make something to use it. Uh, you see a lot of old cards that can get new play because of new cards that are coming out. Isn't there like another one, like an OTT one, like Miss Mist or something? I thought uh, I heard yeah. Miss Mist. Yes. That, Miss that Mist card is going to be powerful. No. Miss Mist. What? Well, Did you just say this card's going to be bad? Oh. The card's going to be good. No. I uh, use it in my uh, CEO Legion deck. <laughs> is the new Legion any good? Because I thought it was, it was like, it's better than the Crossride, but it's not, I don't know. It's better than nothing. It's true. Uh, I feel like the Legion isn't that great, but. Which one? This is new oh, okay. But that, like, what do you think is going to be next? Because I know that they're making a Riviera one. Uh, they're, they're also that's making cool. a Vortex Dragon Legion, I, I think. But it's, it's, it's going to be Dragon U. The, 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 Vortex Dragon BT-17 already, though? Yeah, the the, the dragon on uh, the BT-17 uh, uh, on top, uh, the like, the white one, the big one. Yeah, the Vortex Dragon. I'm just, yeah, no, because I'm just going Dragon U. Something like yeah, I'm just wondering if like Agent meant like the original Vortex Dragon. Yeah, uh, I've oh, heard that, that they are getting a Legion for the original Vortex Dragon. I don't think so. Well, I think there will be an original Vortex Dragon. Legion. What? Just that's what we're saying though. Yeah, I'm saying Vortex Dragon will be the Legion mate. Uh, so two great threes. Well, same with the CEO Materasu. Oh yeah. It's... That's true. Yeah. yeah. But then it kind of like limits your grade three space, wouldn't it? Like I don't know, Karataku, Like, is that limiting grade three space? Like for valuable? Oh my gosh, he hung up on us. Did he? Oh, he's just <laughs> just, just disconnected. Oh yeah. well, I'm gonna have to. Oh, he's back. He's back. And the and the CEO of Legion. So yeah, I don't know how that works, but I heard my friend play against it. So. Uh, yo, we kind of like lost you halfway through oh. whatever you were saying. That's why. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's a there's a build with CO Legion and the Balasser Legion in the same deck. Oh. Huh. Huh. That work like that probably be like twelve grade threes, wouldn't it? I, no, I think he runs like two COs. Oh. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure how it works, but my friend just played against it. And he said it's pretty. Just because scary. I'm confused, which CEO are we talking about? The we're uh, talking about Amaterasu. Amaterasu yeah. or Igdrasil Amaterasu. Amaterasu. Uh, the the oh, one yeah, that so came out in set one. The old one? Okay. Okay. <laughs> because Yggdrasil was something else. <laughs> is that card doing any well? I, I think it is, isn't it? It's, Yggdrasil? It works It works uh, well with Minerva. Or it topped in... Uh, it came in like fourth or something. Yggdrasil I know is it, good. Well, I know it did well with the... Like if you put the break ride and everything, but... I don't I, think they play a break ride. I think I know. I saw one build that like played something though. It, besides Minerva, I think it might have been that really crappy triple R that you kept on pulling. You hated yourself for pulling it. Gotta go yeah. No. Uh, the, uh, the ultimate break. Ultimate break. Ultimate break. The counterblast four, so blast three or something, and then you. 
I forgot. I forgot what like, the cost was. Isn't that where you pop units and draw cards? Yes. I think I remember that one. You, you pop <laughs> two or three units and you draw for each of them. Yeah. Like it's they're adding a retire mechanic. That's. Oh wait, on your side of the field or your opponent? You pop your opponent's units to draw. That's really good then. But, but... Yes, if it's ultimate break and it's kind of best four. Yeah. Oh yeah. Then yeah. That's the counter blast off. four. If it's um, break four and counter blast three, I would run it for sure. <laughs> you don't you need the counter blast for a lot of other things though, like so that you get your soul like your soul charge abilities off. I know that Minerva, you use quite a bit of counter blast, don't you? Mm, no. Minerva, you just you, you just use it for Minerva, and then the yeah. grade two and one that could call from soul. That's about it. Yeah. I mean, you can run Saokime, but I feel like you have enough solar charging already. Yeah. Playing it as a one of is okay. That's, it just applies pressure. Well, like, if you play it as, a, if you play it as a one of, you, you probably won't get it enough for it to make a huge difference. I know, but like if you do draw it, cards that do apply pressure are good in the game. Like I, in my opinion, like if you apply lots of pressure to your opponent early on, they want to guard it so that they mm -hmm. take, they don't take the damage. Sorry. Huh? What? <laughs> Is this gonna be like, car, like, where's the kickback? <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 but it doesn't apply pressure because uh, it, you just pop them. You don't, you don't need to hit or anything. No, I, I'm just talking about like cards that apply pressure, oh. like as in like, like a cursed lancer type of thing. Like your opponent uh, doesn't want to get that ability off. Oh. Uh, yeah. Right. That's what I was. <laughs> You sound really tired. I'm sorry. It just sounds. <laughs> I, I I I got home at two yesterday and I slept like four. So yeah. Yeah, you are a very hard person. Like you are a very difficult person to reach, my friend. I'm not joking. Like, <laughs> you work all the time. I think. No, I was just playing yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> we all play card games. Um. Yeah. So cards I don't know. Are awesome. Is there anything else that we should talk about? I don't. I didn't. I don't have anything else on my mind, so I'm assuming that if anybody wants to say anything, say it now. Deck build. What? I don't know. <laughs> uh, if there were more regionals going on, which happen, they'll happen in like September or early yeah. August, late September. If those were going on right now, I could talk about them, but they're not, so I can't. We can talk about then the fact that if we had more regionals. Our ban list could be completely different and uh, almost the same as Japan's then. I still feel like we wouldn't have a ban list. If you look at all the decks that top. Okay, well, yeah, we have, like, a really diverse meta, but, like... Because people here don't want to play meta. They want to play something different. They want to be divert. They want to be unique. Yeah. And from what I've looked at from Japan and all their tournaments, people just want to play to win, which is perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong. Well, yeah, because they pay money. I think it's the fact that they pay money. That, that might do have something I want them to get... Paid regional so because the prizing is complete garbage. Sorry to any boost short. Of, well, I don't think they'll watch, well, but what's any, the any, prize? any prizing they get. The prize uh, before it used to be if you get first, you get a paid trip to nationals, and if you get second, you get an invite to nationals, and then they, they don't pay for your trip, and that's it. <laughs> that's and that's it. I, 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 I got top eight. I got nothing. I'm like, what's the point? I get a title, and but that's it. And you like, get the clap. You get the. Yay. And then for uh, now, they made it for top four, you get invites, but they still pay for the first people. And then, what, for team regionals? Team regionals is just... It's different. It's a completely different thing. Yeah. New York, round zero. That oh my, that a round lot zero, of people though. off. The salt, <laughs> the salt could be tasted in the water that day. So, <laughs> how to talk to you done about round zero or no? No, what, what, what happened? Uh, at, for you, Nor for New York, about 120 teams showed up, or 108 teams showed up. At the beginning of the tournament, Bushy mm -hmm. Road said, we do not have enough space to accommodate you. We are holding they a round zero. Them, Anybody yeah, who loses in round zero is automatically eliminated from the entire tournament. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't considered what? like an actual official round, so they played round zero and then like the other seven rounds or something. So it's yeah. like half of the teams got mowed down before even wow. getting there. Wow. Amazing. Yeah. Wow. And people drove like six hours for this and then they got eliminated. Like that. Go yourself. That's another, that's like a topic. Bushiro needs to organize more events and better events. They need to give us the point 
exchange. That's what I want. It's I like they're, they're still a relatively new company, I guess. I, they're so. still relatively new, but uh, yeah. when I was judging in 2013, I was told by a head judge that in Japan, Vanguard had sold more than Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, oh holy can, crap. That's you mean in that year or what? It, in, uh, most I, likely that year. In that year, in 2013. Oh, okay. Because uh, in North America, whenever Vanguard has originals, coincidentally, Konami decides to put their originals and YCSs on the exact same day. I was told oh. that it wasn't Bushiroad's fault because Bushiroad would, would release their event date. And mm-hmm. because Konami saw that in Japan, Bushiroad was getting more sales with Vanguard, they drop it on the same date and steal away people. Yeah, but then you can say person. Konami is losing a lot of people right now because Pendulum. there's a huge power creep. Pendulum summoning is like the thing, and uh, it's like. Uh, pendulum summoning so isn't creep. that great right now. I know, but I'm just saying that, like, because of it, even just the me- basic mechanic, people are just quitting the game. I doesn't even know think... what Pendulum does. People need to realize that with Pendulum Summoning. The-, the game doesn't get broken because you have to run them in the deck, and it takes away from your hand advantage. And with the... Can you MST that? Can you MST you can Pendulum? M- you can MST yes. a Pendulum Monster in the Pendulum Zone. Oh, okay. Yeah, because they're considered, yeah. But for me, I don't even know how it works, Pendulum. It's- for me, it's a mystery. Oh. <laughs> It's like you get to special summon monsters of this equal level, like from this level to this level, as many of them so, as you want, and then all pendulum monsters go to the extra deck if they're destroyed. Uh, pendulum monsters okay. have a scale from one to twelve, and if you have two pendulum monsters in your scales, once per turn you can special summon any amount of monsters from your hand whose levels are between those two the scale numbers. So if you have a scale from one to twelve and you have three level sixes, you can special summon them from your hand. So it can be like two to eleven then. So that's what he's saying. Yeah. Too much water. But yeah. Hatsune Miku coming to Yu-Gi-Oh for Pendulum. Oh my god. I don't know. I, I would I would assume that somebody would be happy about that. Uh, Turn someone who's typing on the keyboard right now. Yes. I I are you sure it's real, dude? I I I am very confident that it's real because it was on like a Singapore official like card store website, but. I'm. It's possible I might be wrong here, but I feel that just okay. The card at least looks like Hatsune Miku. That's what I thought. Because uh, it must be they, Konami must be pretty desperate if they're doing that. See, I'm gonna. I, I don't think Konami cares about Vocaloids at all. Yeah. They're not the. Type they are of, getting pretty desperate. This is the company that edits cards because they have a halo around their head. <laughs> the because they don't want people their, in North America. Dark Magician Girls, please. Yeah, because they don't want people in. This is the company that reduced the breast size of Dark Magician Girls, like, even though you can't even see it that well. What? No. This is why I play the Japanese version of the game. <laughs> <laughs> the, the company is. They don't want to get any slack from people in North America. Well, no. The, the, if you look at half of the cards, they're like they look really nice, and then there's like this other half that comes like to North America, and it's like, oh gosh, what just happened here? Did they just? doodle with like their eyes closed like with using their like opposite writing hand it's like oh my gosh what just happened here no. but yeah uh dark magician girl a thing uh card attack who has sleeves guys uh they're not nipples just to let you all know yes they're not they're, they're not nipples <laughs> i really wanted to get my daily dose of rest i just rewatched high school dxd <laughs> all of it just do this just... I, I actually watched the entire oh. series I've watched it, yeah, yeah, but it's been a while. Yeah. I'm still waiting for season three. I'm waiting. You know what I'm waiting for? High School of the Dead, because apparently they were supposed to have a second season. Still not out yet. It's like been a year and a half now that I've been waiting. It's like Deadman Wonderland. They were supposed to have a second season. Fuck that shit. Too much gore. Get out. Why? The High School DxD did and made a second season. Why can't we have a second season of this shit? Huh? Oh. They might be missing writing material, like mangas and all that. Hi, boobs. Because I was. Gonna... <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, does anybody like? Have you all seen the High School of the Dead? No, I haven't watched it. Yes. I've watched the, the, the bullet scene. Dead. The <laughs> bullet. No, no one cannot do that in real life. Why are you not... That's what you think. Boots you can... have not tested the limits of boobies. <laughs> what are you talking about? Every boot skin dutch bullets. No, no, it's not that. It's like they moved between a bullet. Like you can't do That's that. That's what I said. I said they can dodge them. Escape. Okay. They can. They make okay. everything. Unless if you already have a girlfriend, try like find a girl, 
test it out and let me know what happens because I'm really interested in seeing that. The physics do not apply in a lot of these anime. You're probably gonna arrested for that. Logic doesn't apply in anime, so I'm gonna gonna be arrested because I tried something. Oh, okay. Like Japan, like comes up with some messed up stuff. I'm gonna say that right now. Like, uh, did, did sorry. You just find that out. No, I I, I realized that a while ago. Okay? I watched. <laughs> I watched Guilty Crown as, like, one of my, like, opening animes to, like, watching a lot of animes. And, like, I was like, this guy just put his, a drug or something in his arm and is pulling out rocks. Awesome! That's, that's how life works, bro. That, uh, yeah, okay. that, that, that. And, 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 no, but and it's not even that. It, it just has to be, it has to be a girl, too, though. It's, like, has to be a girl in, like, skimpy clothing he doesn't to be able to act. He does it to guys, too. <laughs> If that makes you feel any better. It, it, it does make me... F- uh, no, no, I'm not going to say that. That would have been really bad. That would have set me up really badly. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Agent, have you been watching anime? Because it seems like we're crawling towards anime. I, I have been watching anime, but not ones that you're talking about. I, right now. Have you been watching a comic a kill? I'm watching a comic a kill. I'm watching... Uh, what, what, what's it called? Tokyo Ghoul... And oh yeah, that's uh, Tokyo <laughs> Goal. I really like. It's really good. It's pretty edgy. I'm watch- I know. I'm <laughs> watching. Edgy or edgy? Edgy. edgy. Yeah. I'm oh, okay. also watching Legend of Korra season three. And there was one more, which I can't think of right now. But uh, oh, uh, I haven't watched it yet. But I was gonna watch it when it originally came out. But I'm watching Steins Gate right now as well. That is good. Yeah. So good. I haven't. I, I fell asleep halfway through the first episode. I'm not gonna lie. Really? I was watching it in dub though, so that might be why. <sighs> no. I don't watch any. I don't watch anything dubbed. Do, do, do. I can't do, watch anything. Do, do. Okay. Uh, yeah. Hoing Kyoma. That was pretty good, actually. I'm. Uh, sure. yesterday I just finished Clan Ad after story. Did you cry? <laughs> I gave you a hint. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't, uh, if you didn't, something's completely wrong. Yeah, I know, but I go did. Watch, go watch School Days now, and then cry yourself to sleep. School Days. I cried to School Days only because it was shit. I laughed. And I laughed at the last episode. I was so happy. Why? Because he fucking dies. That's Boy why. Alert. That was Thank too. Thank you, Goo. I haven't watched it. Yet. <laughs> I'm gonna have to. Oh, then. It's okay. I, Why? I probably didn't. I probably wasn't gonna watch it yet. Oh or... uh, yeah. Well, it doesn't matter. You you can watch it for the boobies. I mean, a lot of animes know. my friends watch. I haven't watched. A lot of popular animes. Watch on shitty anime. Like... Go watch School Days. No, no, no. I, I mean, Agent, I thought you told me half of your friends don't go on the internet. Those no. are the ones in the states right now. Oh, they're at AX. They were at AX. Yeah. They're they've been in the states for about two and a half weeks now. Yeah. Anime Expo is only like a four day thing though, isn't it? I know, I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> they're going to them strip clubs and putting in that money, those one dollar bills. I don't know. They came I think they're back, but one of them they came back from Anime Expo with uh Tech and Titan storage boxes and sleeves. And I can go to stores that are two hours away and get them for like ten, fifteen dollars. And they're trying to upsell them for like twenty five, thirty five. The hype of Anime Expo. They don't care. What's stupid is that people actually buy them. It also helps that, like, peop- there's a lot of people there, so, like, you either buy it then or you just, like, go away. Like, yeah. you just can't There, there are some times that I regret buying uh, Vanguard sleeves, though. There was a time that... Oh, I dude, I regret buying my silver Vanguard logo sleeves because I don't use them. <laughs> there was a time that Vanguard I didn't like uh, my uh, Spectral Duke sleeve because it cost me $5. There's a time at a Vanguard Regionals, somebody had Chaos Breaker sleeves, and then they said $15. I'm like, no, I don't need them. That's a good price, though. That is I, a good I price. I know, and I w- wish I had bought them. That's a really oh. good price. I don't know. Uh, let's talk to the man who has all the sleeves, though. So, Carl Taki, regret any buying any sleeves? You have too many sleeves, first of all. I don't, even use, I don't even use my sleeves. I just collect them. <gasps> like you can probably fill a binder up with the like singles of each one. And be like, okay. Uh, I've seen your room tour. You have two boxes of them. Like, yeah. What do you do with role. them? You just, you just let them sit there, man. That's it. Yeah, you just collect <laughs> them because if you don't buy them the first day they come out, they're gonna increase in price eventually. So you might as well just get them the first day. Like. Yeah, I learned that the hard way. Like those Inori sleeves that I got from like 
three years ago. I got them for like uh, 10 USD around, and now it's like 50. So. Well, you managed to find me a pack. I like. I was like, oh my god, yeah. I'm not gonna be able to find it. <laughs> but yeah, like you probably do. You even know what you have in your room? Like, no. You what? Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I buy doubles by accident. I'm like, oh, I have this already. Whoops. I was wondering, like, how do you, like, choose what sleeve to put on each deck? I'm like, does he just grab it and reach at the bottom and hope he pulls something? No, I, 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 uh, I have themes, you know. Just themes. I feel bad because I have, like, three extra packs of sleeves I'm not using, and then you have, like, a hundred and something. Oh, Adam, you, I mean, Agent, you have no clue. Like, I'm trying to get rid of so much stuff right now because... I just made a huge order in Ami Ami. A shout out to them for being really cheap. And yeah, like it's ridiculous. But yeah, back to back to cards. Yeah. I, I don't know what to talk about. Uh, let's see. We can always talk about SPs. <laughs> no, we are not talking about <laughs> I SPs. I bought a lot of I... SPs in Japan. Yeah, but you sold them, didn't you? No, I, I'm, I'm, I'm collecting them. Oh! Agent, it's time to whip out that binder of SPs and show oh, off. I don't collect them. I put them in my decks. It's time to whip out that Revenger Raging Form deck and show off. <laughs> OP, OP, OP. Oh, there's <laughs> yes. only eight SPs in it right now. Oh, yeah, there's four SP Raging Forms and four SP BDRs. <laughs> so, I guess we can talk about that. Does having SPs make you a more, like... There's, I actually have a theory behind SPs. I've been telling this to my friends, and they're just like, shut up, you're a whore. Is it the stacking theory? That actually works in Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, in Yu-Gi-Oh, there, it's a proven theory that if you have high-rarity cards, there is like a 2 or 3% chance that the high-rarity cards will be stacked together or stacked on top of your deck when you're shuffling randomly. And well, right? they'll get to your hands faster. So if you were running Fire Fist when Fire Fist were big, and you had ultimate bears and ultimate tankies, there are a chance that you'll you up a tanky and bear sooner. The odds are better, at least. Yeah. Yeah. They also look better, but I, for me, SPs, they look good, which is why I can get them. I'm able to get them, which is another reason why I get them, and they're a status symbol. I feel like if you have SPs and you can't yeah. top, they don't mean anything. You can have SPs and just crap out on every single tournament, and then people are like, oh yeah, that's a guy with SPs, I can't top. But do you feel that having SPs also makes people more frightened of you because you have the SPs? I feel like that intimidation... No. Oh, well... I shot Nothing me. Oh, well, oh, well, opposite! Well, <laughs> no. Uh, intimidation, intimidation in card games for regionals is something that is real. If I go to a regional and I present myself... I don't want to be cocky and arrogant, but if I present myself as somebody who knows what they're doing and acts like they know what they're doing, know what they're doing, sorry, and have SPs, the person playing me will be like, he's confident, he has SPs, and he's not making misplays. And then they will start to worry about what I'm doing more than their own gameplay. It's apparent in Yu-Gi-Oh! too. There was an article written by Fraser Smith by, from ARG, and he said he's been in multiple regional events where he's been facing a person. He can see game on their board, and he hopes and prays that they misplay just because of who he is and what his status is. And they do misplay, and he wins because of it. Now, I'm not that popular, but uh, probably won't be, but that's... In card games, eventually, it'll get to that point. Well, it depends. If you get more subs, if you get that 7k mark, beat Karo Taku Desu and get that 8k... We, we, have, we, have, we have, like... We don't even have 400 yet. <laughs> okay, well, let's talk to somebody who has 7k subs then and say, uh, how do people react when they meet you? Uh, well, I'm usually a very uh, friendly guy, so they, they take me as a joke. <laughs> uh, I've actually so, had, yeah. I, I had one person recognize me before, and it was really weird. I went to a locals one day, and I was playing with my friend, and I use my tattoo mat a lot. And then some guy came up to me, and he's like, uh, do you have a YouTube channel? But you don't show your face a lot. Like, none of us show our uh, faces a lot. The only issue, the only difference you guys is that... You guys didn't even show your faces in Domino Paris' Spotlight video. No, we did not. We did Kartaku. We show. I showed our. We showed our face. I know. I noticed, and I liked the guy on the left who had no response to anything because I read the comment. I oh. understood uh. that. That was funny though. I was like, "What's that guy on the left doing?" It was his house. So I mean, his house. <laughs> I love his, his house. His rules. <laughs> they recorded a video for a different channel, and they had they were doing it at some other guy's place. It was I, so funny. I we were at see. Their, we were at there for a weekend event with him. 
But in, in our BT14 vlog, uh, if this goes up before it, which I don't think it will, because I'm going to put the vlog up tomorrow, I just need to make it public. I'll beat you. We do show our faces in there. Well, not, okay. actually, no. Yeah, Q's in the beginning. Spoilers, if you want to know. Q's in the beginning for the opening. Uh, Basil's in the middle, and I am at the end. Same as Q. So, yeah. I, I was just wondering, though, is Basil, like, is it, is he making reference to the Aqua Force card, or just, like, the herb? His... There's actually a story for him behind it. I think it was one of his friends from England or a university professor. He would always call him Basil. So he says his name is Basil, and that's why he made the name, because it was his nickname. I still oh. think it's called Basil, even though we have both proven to each other through the Merriam-Webster Dictionary that it is both pronunciations and they are both right. But I will still correct him, saying it is Basil. That's okay, getting into yeah. English. Okay, well, yeah. since we're on the topic of names, I feel that I should ask. C. Dot Coon. Yeah. Why C. Dot Coon? It's a really long story. Tell me, Kami Sama. Uh, well, well, um, yes, I am a man of many names. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's there's oh. a video going around uh for this Pokemon game, uh, trading card game, and then there's this box opening video, and then uh this guy rips up the C. Dot. And I felt really bad for the guy. So, it, I don't know. It's it's really complicated. So you you, have, you would have to be there to uh to know. It probably but basically, has something to do with the drugs you took earlier. What? It probably has something to do with the drugs you took earlier. Oh. <laughs> that's that's partially it. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. So basically, the guy rips up a, a Amoongus and I rips up a C dot, and then um my friend and I was like, Yo, let's call ourselves C dot and Amoongus. And then we're like, oh, Okay. <laughs> So, then, so yeah, there we go. Pokemon guys Pokemon. making uh, names. So while we're still on names, Tony, why didn't you choose a screen name? Just like Tony. Screen name. Are you talking like, to me or the other one? The, the one to who, me. To, to, the, I forgot you guys are to both. The one who hosted this entire I forgot thing. you guys are both Tonys. The one who I actually uh, talked to. Me, it's Anthony. Well, I mean, for Tony, the one on, the one that I yeah. talked to. Oh boy, this is getting talk confusing. Talk I know. Okay. Yes. Well, why did you not choose a screen name? Uh, because I felt that screen names, like, just personally, I feel that screen names are just like, I don't know, like not a way to hide behind something, but just I feel that having my name out there is easier. In that, if I mess up in a video or something, it's not because I messed up my name. If you know what I mean, like, it just comes more naturally to me. Just say Tony, and like I respond more to that, and it just flows out easier out of my mouth. I respond to many things. Okay. Yes, I know, Mr. Jackson, MJ. Uh, I don't respond agent. to MJ. I respond to Adam. I respond to Jackson, which is my name. I respond to Agent, and I also respond to White Boy. <laughs> oh, yeah! There was a I, just, I just uh, noticed that. Uh, there, there's a time at our... The ratio of Asian to White is the exact same right now. Thank you, Tony, for being on, because as it said before... <laughs> It was a one to two ratio, two Asians to one white. Very good. So yeah, there was a time in a, at locals where there were like thirty people in the room. My friend comes in and he says, "Hey, white boy." Nobody else turns around and I look at him. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, gosh. Go to Hong Kong and say, "Hey, Asian boy." See what happens. I wonder, nobody, I actually wonder, nobody would look at you because nobody knows English. <laughs> what is it, Canto? Yeah. Uh, if I go there, I wouldn't know what to do. I, I can't speak any other hey, language but English. Hey ho. What? What? No, no mind. Yeah. I was speaking Cantonese because yeah. I know Cantonese. Yeah. I was just showing off, you know, just um, just for fun. Yeah. Um, I don't know if there's really anything else to talk about. I guess we can talk if you guys want to talk about anime for a little bit longer because this has been like a 50 minute video and I want to like. Maybe just like an hour, so ten more minutes of talking if you guys are okay with standing around and just talking. Yeah, 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 I'm not yeah. standing, I'm sitting on a couch. I'm in my bed. <laughs> I'm on a chair. <laughs> I'm on mat and on a pillow, so I guess that's interesting. We're all lying down somewhat, I'm not I guess. Lying yeah. Down. <laughs> 
You speak of lies. I'm tired, okay? I'm, I'm really, like, mess Like, days and dates and everything are going by in my head really badly right now. Because I, I completely forgot about twelve of a 12-hour difference between Hong Kong and North America, and that just screwed me over. Yeah. Uh, no. I literally... Like, I literally got your message, like, ten seconds before I was about to, like, go to bed, so I was like, oh, oh gosh. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought I was going to be doing this my time tomorrow, Sunday, so I'm like, yeah, I can go to work at home, relax, and then do this, and then today I stayed home and slept, and then it's, like, ten, and then twenty messages, and he's like, yeah, uh, this is supposed to be today. Yeah, I, I should like, depend well, on that. I'm yeah, oh. like, well, uh, I'm not busy, so I may as well just do it right now. Yeah, that's... I guess that's okay, but um, I guess since there's nothing else to talk about, I really just want to talk about. Are you guys looking forward to the Carfight Vanguard movie? I don't know if it's gonna be on the big screen. Yeah, and no. <laughs> I'm ready for Daiko San, Daiko Senpai. <laughs> Daiko Senpai, nice god. I I only really <laughs> care about the cards that come out of it. I mean, I'll watch if the movie comes out on the big screen. I'll probably go and watch it. And hopefully get some. Boring. <laughs> I'm gonna watch it on the internet. <laughs> you not, Ad- Asian? Do you not just watch the anime for the fun of it? I watch yeah, the anime. The fun of it. I keep up with the anime because they release the new cards there. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I watch it for. <laughs> so if this was like, if this was like one of those games where it doesn't talk about, if it was like, oh, like how Wish Wars does it, they, it was just an anime. And then they release cards after. Would you be yeah. as inclined to play the game? Well, actually, that's why I watched Madoka. I started playing Madoka for Weiss, and then I figured I don't know anything about what I'm playing, so I might as well watch the anime and figure stuff out. So it can have some meaning, and then I actually watch the anime. And the so do you think that, that it helps that it's a card game anime, so it's like an anime revolved around the card game? That's what I like about Vanguard. That the anime revolves around the card game, and the card game revolves around the anime. It's circular logic, but the fact is that when you're watching the anime, it's not, they're not doing stuff in the anime that you can't do in the car game. Mind you, they have cheated yeah. in some episodes. Triple I cheat. Six- yeah, I always wonder about that, because like, I'm looking at like their hand size, I'm like, couldn't they have intercepted or something? Or, like, there was, couldn't they have- in the video where, uh, where Ren lost to Kai when they were trying to find out where the Catra Knights were, they show Ren's hand, and if you count the guard, he has enough to two to pass and then account for another trigger. Now, he no guarded. Ran one M Kai to win. Those plot twists, though. So. No, but <laughs> yeah, like... when that happens, I'm just like, why? Because they don't want Ren to win, because they want the fans of Ren to, to like cry that night. I guess I don't know. I know, but when it's that blunt, you have to question. That's it. true. That is true. Like when you show the hand, that leaves questioning. Yeah, but anyways, um, I just thought of something really quickly. Um, since I've been playing with a, like three quintet walls in a deck because I don't have PGs for a certain deck, do you guys think that the game is more a lot faster now because of Legion? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I think so. Well, it's it, in a way it's faster and slower <laughs> because you recycle your heals, so you always heal, and then uh. The game, you just keep on staying at like around three damage if you don't uh, crit your opponent fast enough. So, so, like, are you saying that it leaves more emphasis on rushing the opponent very quickly rather than like so? Spike Brothers would have a better meta like in this meta right now. Mm, I think extra crits are more important. I, I can see that, but like with decks that have stands only, would you just? be smart to run the stands and rush them as well. Because, like, Mega Flay, that's what they do, I'm assuming. And the, well, they do get the crit. Yeah, they get the crit and the restand, so that's why they're they're pretty good. Agent, anything? or uh, the, I don't know. Like, Can you see anything from this current meta in English be transported over to the, like, GT16 Legion era? To, to be able to beat it? Or, like, at least stay on par oh, with it. Easily. Novell. Novell, I know that Novell can beat Legion Ducks. Legion Ducks aren't the best thing in the world. They're great, but Novell is able to beat it. I feel Novelle's like... Too good. Novell is actually really good. To be fair, in Vanguard, almost any deck can win. But if we're talking... That's one thing... That's an argument that people use, which I don't like. Because then you can justify anything. But there are certain decks that can beat others. And 
they'll be able to. Nouvelle can beat Legion decks. If you're playing set two Alfred beat, I don't know how well you'll be able to compare it to Pete against the Legion deck. You'll still hit 20. That's still a thing. I know, <laughs> but... 20 on 11Ks has been bad for a long time. It's yeah. been bad since 11Ks were released. Yeah. You'd rather just hit 21 with Nouvelle. Or you could have Nouvelle and Vanguard being boosted by Ash... No, uh, Bar. And then have it on side being boosted by Ashgar. Have 22. I feel yeah, like... I guess it doesn't help that I haven't played the game in a while. Probably, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I've got to go, guys. All right, All right. later. Uh, we'll okay. probably be done in a few yeah. minutes anyway. Well, so. later, guys. That's well. Tony guys from Tony um, Team Divine Pro World, one of the things. Oh, okay. So I'm um, going to see you next time, guys. And, well, that's it. <laughs> All right, I'll hang you up right now. God. All right, so we lost one member, and we were down to two, and Dead Man Wonderland is now... Two people, or three people, I don't know what you call it. I don't know. I but yeah, see. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to make references to animes and stuff, and I'm seeing I a Nisekoi see. trial deck right now on my floor, and I'm thinking about Nisekoi. Yeah, well, when I haven't watched so many animes you guys talk about, I can't get the references. Oh, well, no. Karotaku probably understands what I'm trying to say, but yeah. I'm just being really bad at it. It's okay. I forgive it's you. okay. You don't need to be good at this. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm I'm really sorry. Okay, the day's been really hard. I had to go to Chinatown and I had to like look around for them deals and all that, and it was pretty hard. Like, I think that there were people on the subway that were like, they were like transvestites. I think you call them, and I was kind of scared because I had to like stand right beside them. What's wrong with being a transvestite? <laughs> yeah, I don't have anything yeah. against them. It's just the fact that like. Hey. They were wearing really, really revealing see-through clothing. Just a look? Why are you looking? I'm not trying... Man, <laughs> I was turning that way, okay? Like, my, I couldn't move. I was like, ah! <laughs> Don't do this to me! Wait, Taku, have you watched the other episode that we did? The episode two, or no? Uh, yeah, I have, I have. Okay, so, so you saw that Tony said you had issues, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Oh, no! <laughs> I feel like this is your way of getting back at him. <laughs> I knew it. I should have edited. Oh no! <laughs> it's 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 K. It's K. It's K. But now I'm gonna get a bigger bill for the next time I order something from you. Oh yeah. god! Uh, sleeves that are twenty. Uh, they're a hundred now. Yeah. About them. <sighs> yeah. Uh. Yeah. About my sleeves. Let's talk about that. Uh. Did you get the no game no life? Are they out yet? They're, they're not out yet. yet. I'm waiting yeah. for my friend uh, to order a pack for me. I want them. Oh. Um, I got Walker Romanze though. That's pretty. Oh my gosh. Have, have you seen Walker Romanze though? Like, no. I heard there's lots of boobs. It's under the category harem. If that helps. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Like there's that Asian like there's like this Asian girl, her sleeve sold out in like ten seconds. I was gonna order it. I was like, Ah it sold out. Asian there girl. People, there are people that stay up on sites. And wait for sleeves to be stocked, and the second they get stocked, they just buy them. That's, That's pretty hardcore. Though, like... That's pretty hardcore. Well, it's you like don't... what you said. The sleeves will eventually go up in value, right? So if they wait the two hours for them to be put up, and then they buy them, just buy all the packs, and then in like six months they'll go up and they'll sell them. It's creepy. That's but true. It's money. That's true. That's true. So is that what you're doing, Carlo Taku? Then, like, are you just trying to like stock up and like stash them away and like wait? No, I, I they're, they're for me. I, I there's something that I would never use probably because I don't I don't want to pick them out of the plastic. Oh my gosh. Yes. That's high roll. That's, that should not be how you roll though. That's high roll. Like, at some point that room's gonna be too small for you though. That's why I gotta get a new house then. <laughs> <laughs> Just for my sleeves, you know. But Hong Kong, like, real estate is so expensive. It's true, it's true. Are you going to come on Kong anytime soon? Me or agent? Uh, either of you. I might come soon, like, in a few, like, maybe one or two years. Uh, okay. I don't have the money for that. I'll go visit him for you. We can all <laughs> Skype together. <laughs> sounds, 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 sounds legit. I, I, I mean, I have a job, but I don't, I can't have, I don't have the money to travel. My travel mm. it would probably be to New York. I know next year, uh, with my friends, 
We want to plan a trip, but we're going to take the train all the way out to BC. That's hype. Go visit Chan. <laughs> yeah, go visit Chan. <laughs> I don't think he knows who I am. Well, I know he doesn't know who I am. I know uh, Amulet, though. Oh, okay. That's hype. No, I don't really know him, but my friends know him, and I oh. can talk to him, so. They're both pretty cool guys. I- yeah, yeah, they're they're very cool guys. I haven't met them, but you know, I talked to Chan. I did a deal with him. I got his iconic red logo sleeves, which were pretty hype. Now I don't use them, so I don't know. But yeah, um, is there anything good to do in Hong Kong? I've always wondered that. Depends, off the top, but what do you want to do? I don't know. I'll probably end up visiting you if I'm around. Like, where do you? I'm not gonna. No, let's not disclose locations. But what? Like, I would probably want to tour around and then like cards oh there's a lot of places to, there's like there's like a lot of card shops <laughs> so yeah you could, I could I could probably bring you around alright oh yeah so how like I actually I don't even know what I'm saying now <laughs> oh my gosh are, are you high too I have, I have issues I probably got something from Matt last card taco episode and I was like Where's the kickback? I don't know. I probably went to it too somehow in my dreams. Um, mm-hmm. Wait, do you actually know what we're talking about though? Like when we yeah, that? I saw the last episode. Yeah. You? Oh my god! You actually you, you sat episode. you sat and watched it for an entire hour. For most of it. Oh, I stopped at like thirty minutes, and I was actually in the thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I never listened to like. I edit, okay? So I have to go through the pain of, like, listening to the whole thing, like, five times over. It's like, I I know exactly when people come on and when people come off. It's just ridiculous. It's one thing I don't like about ridiculously long videos. The person editing it is going to take gonna take a long time. Oh, no, I don't hate you guys for it because I enjoy editing videos and I enjoy doing Photoshop, although I'm not as good because I don't know how to use freaking paintbrushes to save my life. Carter Taku knows what I'm talking about because I asked for help and he reco- he just said no to me. I, I, well, it's, it's hard, you know. You have to have an artistic sense, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's actually not that hard. You just need to play around with a bunch of stuff. It's okay. Playing around uh, takes too much. Yeah. I can't enjoy okay, it. Well, if you want to... Carter Taku, would you do the honors of uh, maybe just doing the... Custom thumbnail for this video, then. Uh, sure. Oh my. What do you What do you What do you want on it? Uh, have give me Adam's face. Hold on. Get Adam's face. I'll be right back. Give me two seconds. All right. Hold on. He's left us. We're alone. That's romantic. Uh, <laughs> uh, if you want, I can send you the PSD file. Yeah, sure. I'll do that. Like, pass me your email under the thing. And I'm getting way off topic. I don't know what else there's talked about. I guess when when Adam comes back, guys, we'll just end the call and then we'll just talk about random nonsense. You're ending the call when I get back? Why? Because there's nothing more to talk <laughs> Wait, <what>? about. <laughs> there's nothing more to talk about. Like, I don't even know how you hear us. Matt couldn't hear us last time. I came back when you guys were saying that. Oh, you're nice. You could have told us. But it's fun to eavesdrop and then make a make a grand entrance. Yeah, that's the thing with North American people. We have no sense of like privacy. We just like walk in. We you know like in those in those animes where like people the guy goes into the girls' bathroom. They should not. Yeah, we're, the, the, we're those guys. We're those guys. We don't care. I'm, no, we we care. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> so you guys walk into another guy. Like, we, we don't knock. That's, like, a thing. We just, like, open the door. It's like, hey, okay, but well, bye now. There are some people at my locals that don't knock on the door. There was one time I was going to the washroom. The door is closed. And I forgot <laughs> to look at And the guy fully opens the door. I'm like, are you stupid? Knock on the door, man. <laughs> really? Bro, what's up? Just chilling around, you know? Taking a piss. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, like... All right, and uh, with that, I guess, guys, we have come to the end of at least this Card Taco episode. Very messed up one, I would probably say. We need to have but... an actual discussion topic next time. Yes. Man, we had it. We had a discussion topic. It was anime. We went from anime to Vanguard to boobs to anime to boobs to Vanguard. 
What's wrong with that boobs? Plot. <laughs> All are called plot. It's not boobs, it's plot. It's personality. And that's a uh, nice personality. Oh, what? Yeah, so, um, with me today, I have Asian from Team No Guard. You want to say anything? (laughs) (laughs) What? You want to say, like, an outro? This is like the outro, you know? Like, I'm assuming people want to say bye or something. Bye? All right. And from Team Void Canvas, I have Kardo Taku Desu. Bye-bye. And this has been Tony from Team Divine Pro. Signing off. Bye. What? What? SPs are sexy. SPs are not yes, sexy. Yes, they are. I mean, catchphrase actually caught on to other people on my team, so yay. Well, dude. you know what? There was somebody that caught up a Dauntless Drive Dragon, and... I saw that. He, just... he caught up a Dauntless, he caught up a Nouvelle, he caught up a... Uh, what else did he cut up? He caught up a Raging Form, he took an axe and smashed it. Ugh. Wow, he must be a really cool kid.